and therapy. Coming to you live from Ghana! Oh, she went. Oh, she went. Oh, wow. Okay. So, hello, everyone. You're welcome to Live Business Therapy Season 2. We are shooting in the tropics from Ghana when Wajay is Bay and Go Fruits and Kusses, like the morning fragrance. I like. I'm still very appreciative of the UK and I love all of you. Anyways, welcome to season two. Uh, with season two, the mindset with this. Well, first of all, like you have to give like props to the new like setup. Like I see sitting on the couch. We've got like a backdrop, like there is a god. You can't see me. Oh, you can't hear me. Okay. <clears throat> you see, some of us are still getting used to this, you know. <laughs> The newness, we're used to the rust life, like table, chair, you know, back to back to back to back to back. But this season two, we're trying to like, switch things up a bit. Um, I want to like, like a lounge feel. I want to my guests to feel very comfortable, you know. Like in life, you must, you know, you must progress. You must not be where you are. You know, if you are where you are. you're feeling comfortable when you leave us tea or juice or wine. Is he asked coming? The, 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 that's you see, me? you know, typically, we don't do that here. typically, I'll start with that. But you see, for season two, we end with that one. We end what? We end the show with the tea. Well, since what I, I was giving people um, bubble oh, tea God. and sushi, that's like we're Ghana in tea. So, it's for my international, it's international it's listeners, we're here in Ghana. So, yeah, I, I, so the dispatch is bringing the watching, like that's that's where we are. So, like, I I understand that we are the peculiar because like you know give props to watch and stuff. So usually we start a show with I like, guess dancing or like I play a song for them and then we vibe to it. So around like you have like a song choice that we can you know you, have, you don't have to dance with we are just like skip, skip. We, we might are dance just, when the watching comes. We are just doing like two step we might dance uh, when the watching okay, comes. Okay, should I give you something that you can rap? I have like a very good rapper and things. Alright, John. Have you met? Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Would you want to rap for us and think, uh, or you don't want to? Okay, so because I respect her rap, like I rap like a lady, so like I'm not saying that my like just no ladies and just my rap like a lady, lady. So I'll just like you know like yeah at the end, ah uh, you can, then you can because she because she got your powers. Why she's coming? But the only downside is that like this part I don't call my phone which is on flight mode, so. And me, You're thinking about when you want to Oh, no, no, no. It will get here because some people are dying. Shout out to my producer, Echevene, for season two in the pink shorts. Shout out to him. I don't know if you, you ever come in. The, maybe at the end of the season, we'll come in and show our big guys. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. So, for season one, um, the focus was basically getting like the organians and diaspora to talk about their unique experiences and to give like a perception on Ghana. But for season two, what I wanted to do was to get a young people like in Ghana to actually give like the true uh, account of what the, what the situation on the ground is. So my first guest for season one, drum roll, do, 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 is, uh, see, the thing, even the name is a problem. Let me explain. You just call me Ajoa. Let's make it no, easy. I was introduced to her as no. I was introduced to her as Ara, but it's Ira, Ira Ajoa. You know, like see, the guy, the person who this is a very gun. The gun is there. I'm sure he'll so, respond to you tomorrow. Yeah, but Ras will be on the show so Um, but it's actually Ira, Ira Ajoa. Hello, Ajoa. welcome to Live Beats and Therapy. So, my first question to you would be actually, what do you think of the name Live Music and Therapy? When I told you actually that I was starting a podcast and I told you what the name was, when you, you found out what the name was, what was your first impression? See, if it's you and I didn't see anything, it's put in there, I was 
something. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's one thing I actually heard the name was like, the name is just, it's just Raz. But actually, like, for me, the name is just, I think it just basically, it makes sense. You know, we're talking about what life. Else we have it? I mean, and the, and the tagline is, spill all the beans. So, like, what else do you hear? <laughs> like, it had to be, like, in the, in the, in the name, there's something about yeah. Uh, Mr. Trump, welcome to Mr. Trump. It's season two, our first guest. Thank now, you. I'm, this is just for you to make you very special. Just mm-hmm. now. I before I actually move to why I brought you here. Well, actually, I rise here because she's like a young entrepreneur that's like running her business in Ghana. So I thought, why don't I just bring her up on the show and then we can actually talk about like running the business in Ghana. Check one with you being female and being young. Because I know there are a lot of people like in the like in that sport, I actually have like a maybe like a five year plan, a seven year plan, a ten year plan where they actually want to move back to come at a point to start some sort of business. So I was thinking that you could like give insights as to what the range on the ground is now. So they can and I'm sure you could also like project what you think next couple of years would look like. So then in preparing to come home, they can like probably do their homework and then come up, come prepared to do what I'm Yeah. But before we do that how did I even tell Ra? Ah, tell us. Alright. Okay, maybe my account how we met and then we can also give you a comment. I think. So <laughs> <laughs> no, but we actually met. No, so I met Ara through Russell. We'll be on the show tomorrow, hopefully. And um we're we're going to we're going to kick taste. It was not the first one. We're going to kick box. Oh. Mailbox. Mailbox for kick taste. And then Russell's not coming in the I'm like, well, yeah, sure. And then Ara came and I think I no, I didn't think we actually vibed. And since that time, we actually have another event, and then since that time, we've been talking back and forth. And we are actually friends now. But that's my account. Maybe I want to see mm, somebody I know, so I'll probably be able to. Oh, is it? <laughs> but, but yeah, you didn't lie in there. That account is yeah. great. What, what, was, like, what, was, what was your first impression? The first one you made? So, Russell was saying, let's go cake tasting because I'm not sweet to you. And I think you appreciate this. Why not? So we did this and I met you and I'm like, oh, he's nice. Like it was the first time. Usually you warm up to people, but exactly. it just, yes. It but just, just, just like kicked off. Just not yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, so why not, friends? Yeah. It's, it's good to, yeah. Because, you know, you know, like we meet people like this girl, she's going far. So you better, you mm-hmm. know, befriend them to friendship. Oh, like, you know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <How are you? laughs> well, then, I guess. Great my things about. Great might think about. Yes. In my mind, in my English, small, small. We are getting there. Yes. But anyways, yes. right, so when, when, I, when, when you think of Ghana, what's like the first thing that comes to mind? Uh, home. Home. Home, family. Friends, chilling. Uh, not so much chilling. Your eyes don't chill. Yeah, but. Yeah, but so. my mother think of Ghana is home, family, friends, chilling. No corona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Ghana is like a like when when it's like a lot of country cars like freedom, freedom. We yeah, have to be freedom fast. I watch you do it. It's not a problem. It's me that I'm saying that's 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 three thousand dollars. Like now, so die, die. Oh, don't say that. I'm not. Yeah, at least now let's I'm trying. At least now I'm trying. You know, you know, I think guys like give me some props. I'm trying. I believe in you. I'm not making fun of you today. Yeah, thank God for believing me because because I don't believe in myself. Thank God. Because I know see, these legs here, yeah, very disappointing. But anyways, um, are new businesses in Ghana viable? Do you think like new businesses in Ghana are viable? I think so. To be honest, I think any is uh, in Ghana. Yes. In as much as Ghanaians complain about economic issues, we don't have money, Ghanaians are buying. Ghanaians are buying. Ghanaians. Ghanaians pay for things. Ghanaians are less DIY people, they would rather pay for a service, they would rather pay for a product. And I think anything is good. Anything will sell. I mean, because we've had, you know, sometimes like, not sometimes, but you know how, like, even like when it comes to buying fuel, the fact that there's somebody standing there filling your tank. It's comfortable. Yeah, Ghanaians just like to be comfortable. Yeah. Even when we complain about yeah. money, yeah. we will pay for comfort. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, for services, for products. Just pay and I know I was one time I was listening to an interview, I can't remember who he was, but I know what, I remember what he said was that 
it's actually very easy to start a business in Ghana unlike other countries because you can literally put like a table outside your gate and start a business and nobody will ask you any questions. Mm -hmm. Unlike maybe in the UK where you need permission to put that course. table there. Yeah. You think that's like a very like a solid it's, analysis it's a, of the situation. Well, true, I think it's a good thing for us as well. Yes, I mean depending on what you're saying or depending on where you are, you may face challenges. But generally I think it's easier. Relatively. 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 I mean, and then in Ghana, there's always like a way to work around the system. Like, even if it is a problem, it can become, it can that problem can be taken away depending on who you know and how you make your things around. So it depends on the side of the team when you're on. So when it comes to that, that's true. Yeah, it's really pleasant. I, I, I can admit to a business from the experiences I have. Had. So yeah. now, the interesting thing is that kind of business arise into it. Is I mean, the day she told me what she was actually into. I was like, wow, that's like a, that's such a bold move. I've never heard of anybody in Ghana going into that venture. Would you want to tell them? You have heard a couple of people, so you're like the first person no, to come on it. Now, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but the first person I know that actually makes this is uh, and I'm saying this, 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 because I want Ara herself right, to actually oh. tell us what she's into. So Ara, what's, what's your business venture? Ara makes candles, like she makes candles, like of all the things in this world, why candles? Why would you want to go in, the, in, the, in, the, in this direction? So I think if you ask me to name like five things I like, randomly, you get me to say food, you get me to say she's a very, She's a very good cook, <laughs> you know, she, she stole my house with some jollof and fish. And we came to fight in my house because me, I knew that, no, I I thought I was being brought food, but apparently my house is waiting for food. You should share. Sharing is scary on some days. We should do this again. <laughs> That's the job. We should do the job. The job was really nice. And let's see, and I'm saying it was really nice because, you know, like, when you just have to somebody is a nice person, the person knows your peculiar needs. It wasn't spicy. And it was fish, nicely done fish. Like, yeah, you know. Alright, thank you. Thank you. But why can't this? Why can't So yeah, I will say if I had to list the few things I like it, it would be food, it would be scents, fragrances. I like perfume. Like mm -hmm. this. so I don't quite you know I mean a few people will have one cologne or one scent and use that mm -hmm. and be stuck to that. That's not me. Mm -hmm. I would have quite a variety because this smells nice, why stick to this? I I like this too, why stick to that? So yes, I have scents, I have I like fragrances, so that's sort of certain. So then it also means that I like scented candles. Mm. So that's one. So personally, it's something I like to use. Mm. And then I think your next question would be to why I started this business. But I mean, so <laughs> kind of, so you started, you went with this business venture because it's actually a product that you like. So that's one point that we can we can talk about here. So if you're looking to go into a venture, it should be something that you like and will be willing to push. Because you cannot go into a business a venture that you, like you cannot push a product you don't like. Because then what would your selling point be? I mean that's what you think you someone I mean because I've always asked myself like if I get to a point where maybe I'll have to work with this particular brand, or well, I just work with a brand because they are paying me money. And I'll never use a product, or I'd actually like to work with brands that I would like to use by myself. I think I think it depends on you, the individual. Depends on you, the individual. Yeah. Like, no two ways about it. So we talk about passion and the things that we love and all that. Actually, we need a budget. Money is money is yeah, money is good. It is good. Money is nice. <laughs> That's what we are looking for anyway. Like, passion is good, but what's 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 the passion selling me? Like what's it getting you? What's it bringing? If it's not bringing me anything, then um, move to the next business. passion. Yes, move to the next passion. So, but I think, but don't you think passion should be like one of the reasons why you're going to the business venture? Certainly. And then you find a way to utilize that in getting some sort of income. True. True. So what? Well, it has to be everyone. I'm not taking it out. I'm not taking it. Like I'm not taking the passion bit out. That's the like, but it's more like that's no, that's not like everything. It's not everything. Mm. So if you actually want to go into a business venture, it should be something you're passionate about. Yeah. But it should also um, like 
be able to, should be rewarding. Like they should be something that will actually fetch you money. So if you are passionate about this and it's not going to fetch you money, maybe you want to post that. Might be a hobby. Might be a hobby. So it's not necessarily because of the money, but you just enjoy doing it. But however, you will still need a stream of income to to finance that. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I'm not actually doing any more stuff. Interesting stuff. So, but it's not going to come off because it's something that you like. Yeah. Did, was there ever a time where you, you were actually like fascinated by like how it was actually made and like you just began yeah, to research into so, it and stuff like that? Um, so, um, I think for anybody else who likes candles, right? I like candles. You like candles? I would prefer getting them from outside. So, if I know somebody coming for a vacation or a day, I bring them. Usually, burn the body. Mm-hmm. And those are those like those plants is heavy. Mm-hmm. Like you, it has to be somebody who likes you a lot because if it's if it's just one candle, it won't last you too long. And you will want a candle that does so much more to add to somebody's energy mm-hmm. Because really, if you like candles, you're not buying like candles off the shelf at a supermarket. You know, at a it's really a particular place. That's good. Cool. Because I mean, there are candles and there are candles. There's some candles. Yeah. I mean, there was once in my boy like a coffee scented candle. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, I waited for the smell of the coffee and never came. It never came. But then there's some kind of like, even like literally having it, I'm not like really like hyping it around, around anything. Era, era. I'm not hyping it around anything. But there was, when I was leaving in March, she gave me um, two candles. And the moment I opened my bag, you could smell the fragrance. Like a little, you might actually like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. He's, he's, he's like, even though I've not lit the candle yet. <laughs> because it's, what are you waiting no, for? Because I told you, I literally have it like on my like my dining table. It's like a it's 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 added to like the a step a step fix. Yeah. But for yeah, it's added to like the look of the table. So I haven't like necessarily and you know my dining table don't think that it's is laid down to look beautiful. Beautiful. And I wanna I'll rather sit on the floor but yeah, I can have my, my meal and I'll sit by the table dining table oh, on the floor. <laughs> because I don't want to mess up like the arrangements of it. I, I I just added it to like the arrangement of the table and I have it lit it like a literally. Um they have changed the flowers here and there but I have it. Oh that's why so And then we replace the dining table. Based on what you're saying, which means I need to buy like a couple when I'm going sure. like I should have around my house and then at night, I'll just light All it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> start up your home. <laughs> okay, so then how did you start this, this this business? Did you just like? Is it like are you one of the one? Are you one? Are you one of the one percent? Do you one of the one? Do you know what one of the one one percent is? One of the one percent are those people that be just that they dream and then they yeah, and then daddy will just. I'm just one of the one percent. Yeah, no one of the one percent. Oh, okay. So like, how did you? There's a start? story. How much is it? Are you ready? How many? Very oh, ready. Okay. Very ready. Like I'll, I'm ready for the story. Like also, hopefully that to end up in the dance or like a rap. But like, yeah. Let's do the story. <laughs> okay. okay. So I was in a regular eight to five job. Oh, so you actually did start with an eight to five. Oh yes, I did. I did. And it was, if I should say it to myself, it was a good paying job. It was a good paying job. Okay. For starters, like just after national service, and I said to be my first job, it was good. It was good money. Okay. So I was there for like three years, about three years, entering like the fourth year. And then I had an opportunity to move. Initially, it was a government institution. So I had the opportunity to move to a private, a private institution. But the same line of work, okay. the same industry, if I should say that. So most to that, and it seemed promising. It seemed something like that was going to grow. And you know, like when you are joining a startup company, the initial staff quickly rise as compared to you being yeah, in the it's, government. It's, it's but the people in the government institution who work there for in yes. the same position for years. So yeah. trust me, people used to boast that I've been here for 15 years. I've been, in my mind, I'm like, why have you been here for 15 years? Doing what? What position are you in now? Like, they are there for 15 years, and it's just the comfort and the security of knowing that, look, I have my salary coming in, it's good money, I'm okay here. But young, thriving, it's like, yeah, good money, I've been here a couple of years, what next? 
we want, we want like our generation. It's like we 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 want we, we need like not that we want more. We need more, and we easily like we easily get bored. So, but like after uh, it's more like after six months, we're bored. But for some people, <laughs> it takes them a while. But yeah, but for our generation, no, fifteen years, which is, and I don't mean like it's also similar to why I'm like why I'm working now. People have been working there like 15, 20 years. I'm like, I don't know how you do this. Like, it's one year and I'm tired. Like, I need, I need something. On, I want, I, I wonder how you guys do this. Anyways, like, so yeah. I, I, I relate to that. <laughs> but, yeah. but even within that three, four years, I had moved quite a number of rules. Okay. Not necessarily up the ladder, but I changed rules. There's many new things, trying yes. to try new things. Yes. Yeah. So that's where it was. And then I got this opportunity. I'm like, mm, why not? It's a startup, it's private, yeah. it's not paying your best. Yeah. There's potential to grow quicker over mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. So I made a move. Mm-hmm. I went. It was a risk because people thought, oh, government institution is safe. Secure. Yeah. secure. Why are you moving already? You're quite young. Mm-hmm. I got all that. Actually, you can only just make that step and know what to stay. Mm-hmm. If it goes well, it goes well. Like, yeah. So that's why. First year was great. First year heading to second year, it seemed to be a bit shaky. Mm-hmm. But then we were, we were quite serious because we were a bunch of young people working there as well. Mm-hmm. We were quite serious, like, oh, it's a startup, but if, it's, if it seems shaky, like, what can we do? Like, what can we do to help? Even though there were the shareholders, there were the top management, we, the startup people, were wondering, like, we need to push, we need to help. So we kept we kept on at it. Even though we could see that it was a point in time salaries were delayed, like one shareholder has pulled out. Like clearly there were a few things that made it look like it doesn't look so good. But then yeah, just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. We might just we might just snap into it. Mm. Unfortunately it didn't. Oh wow. Yeah. So the business venture failed? It failed. Oh okay. It failed. It did fail. So do you do you think like at so at that time did you think you made a mistake in moving from the common institution to that institution? At that time? Um, personally, I didn't feel that way because I'm like I needed to take a risk and I took it. Mm-hmm. But people made me feel as if I did. People took uh, people People talk. People talk. People put things in your head. Mm. People make you feel a certain kind of way. Mm. Because now my old colleagues are like, so why did you go? Mm. 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 Like, so why did you go? And I'm like, I told, no. it's like, I told you so many things. Yeah. And, I, and there's also people, other people also projecting their fears as well. You know, mm. like, what would you do for something? To so me, I said, fine, this is the situation I find myself. Mm. And it's not a pleasant one. Mm-hmm. But you can only help me so much by rubbing it. That's okay. so. Anyway. But what did your family think when you when you when you're moving jobs? Like what was your opinion about your family? Family is a bit liberal. Okay. You want you to find yourself. Like, just yeah. Especially when something. Yeah, yeah, pretty much liberal. Okay. Because, I mean, getting into the job itself, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say my dad led me there, my mom led me there. I got there, mm-hmm. and it wasn't food and like. I got there somehow, let's not go into that side, but I got there. Okay. Okay. So, I only had to inform them that, look, there's another opportunity and I'm going to make it. Okay. So, I feel like maybe I would have owed them a bit more if they found me the job and I let go of it. You feel like, okay, no. Maybe I may have disappointed them or something, I don't know, but I, I don't think they made it too hard. Can you share? Which is good to hear because you know how, well, most. African parents like would typically be a bit um, uneasy about you moving to an institution and then like it's like a very new one. Like, what I would be able, I don't want you to stay like in a government institution because it's more stable. So then like, I guess yeah, your parents will quite be quite be wrong allowing you to find yourself, which is why we are here now. But now thinking about that situation, what would you say about it? So now you understand why I said I'm not that one. I'm getting here. <laughs> okay, so we're back now. 
I would first of all apologize for the first part of this video. So, as I said, we're in the tropics, all right? We don't like this. <laughs> that is just hot. You know, it's like really, really hot. So, like some of us, like we try. So, when it's like, like five, four o'clock, then we turn on the air conditioning because they're dying. So, the background noise you hear is basically the air conditioning. But, like, yeah, according to producer extraordinary in the, in the pink shorts, yeah, it's not like it's not conducive. So we turn we turn off the air conditioning. Hence, the very awkward silence because I rather refuse to dance. But I'll just leave that conversation for later. Later. For later. For later. Okay. Anyways, so as, as you were saying, so I remember prior to like me going off and coming back on, um, I asked you how like what the perception is now based on like what you've achieved now. Would you think that decision to to move from the government institution to a private institution was a bad decision. I mean, entirely, mm. I haven't felt like it was a bad you decision. You never thought that it was a no. bad decision. You feel like it's something that didn't go well, and it's okay. And one of those people that like believes that like life is like it doesn't matter what you do, what what you're meant, what's meant to come to you will come to you. Are you one of those people? Not so much. Not so much. <laughs> but I, I I don't like to hold on to the negatives too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you may have had some expectations, you may have mm -hmm. expected or wanted things a certain way. If it doesn't go that way, do something. If you can go back in time, would you would you still make that move? Um I like what I'm doing now. So so basically that move I probably may haven't. Like I probably wouldn't do it because you know the whole sense of security and comfort like the money was nice it was coming it was like you make plans with it you do stuff for yourself i may have slowed down in that aspect of it and but if we didn't make that move will we have this risk kind oh, of i doubt along the line i've thought of what business can i do but Never Comfort did I, yeah, never did I get to doing it or imagining. Because there, there have been other business ideas that actually put down on paper that, oh, I think this would be this or this would be that. But sometimes we need to be pushed to do things, mm -hmm. and that's what happens. Life to share care for, yeah. Well, I have to share them on Twitter, people. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when, when, I, when I have to share them, I speak lemonade. So they have people. Bye bye. Injured people. Injured them. Mm. This one they go. So feel the pain. No, no, I'm just kidding. My life goes to lemons. Make lemonade. So and share it to the world. So, yeah. But anyways, Desiree Candles. Why Desiree? Desiree is Candles. I call Desiree. No. Uh -huh. I needed a name. Okay. And that's who started the whole list. Which names have been taken? What sounds nice? What will reflect? So you actually did like your background, like your background research before you actually started. I did. started. That brings me to my next question before I go. I had to do this background research because I had no idea what I was doing. Mm. And I knew nobody in the business, in the industry as well. So I needed to do something. I mean, even like a guy is typically like um, people that would share information. No. Mm. No. So if you want to start a business and it's already here, you, know, you probably know that person. The person. But even, even with that, that, would they like that. tell you like? Because that's like telling you the trade secrets, isn't it? And competition in Ghana is everything. I actually have an issue with that. Mm. Because my point is, I learned all this on YouTube, mm. on the internet. People had done stuff. People had posted. That's how I learned. Mm. Question is, it didn't. Those people that share the information, it hasn't changed anything in their life. It hasn't made them come back. It hasn't made them lose anything. So my question is, if you share, so what? Mm. Like, I, I, I. Well, I mean, so let's look at it from this angle. Like, so what if it's, it's for them as a way of like, because you know, in Canada, it's actually like there's not. I don't know if there's anything like patenting your stuff or copywriting your stuff, but. You know how, for example, would be space to space. One person started space to space, and then like a couple of months everywhere, like check check is everywhere. Like Ghanaians typically wouldn't take risks, but once you take the risk Excellent. and you succeed, now everybody wants to go into it because they think it's viable. That's so isn't that like one reason why people would typically don't want to share? I said that's fine, but if it's something that you're doing, then look for any addition 
to add to it, like perfect it, mm -hmm. sell your product. It doesn't matter what somebody else is selling or who that somebody else is. You started, mm -hmm. it seemed good. Mm -hmm. Like to be honest, like what I was saying is that when I started, I didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So even from the starting stages to now, I think I have improved. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So even if somebody's copying, even if somebody's doing, it won't be the same thing. Me, you can your chef. You can I mean, cook I, I, your I was actually coming to that you because I know I know with food, right? It doesn't matter. I can give you the recipe. It if I make it and you make it, it's totally different. different. I actually didn't even think that's so. Is that how it is with everything else? And like, I think it's it, applicable. Like we have so many people in even the photography business. Everyone's looks. You can tell this is somebody's work by how they end up doing. Like That's true. signature on everything. Like it's it's like that. So if it's a handmade craft, even if you teach someone, it's like what same. I would have imagined for bottling, for packaging, for that, it's different from what somebody else would imagine mm. or would prefer. That's true. We are different people. Like the scent I might select to use for my candles, somebody might. Prefer something else. Mm -hmm. So, even if I teach you, it won't be the same thing. When I started, a few people hit me up on social media. One person asked if I was training people. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I'm not. It might be something that will take up in yeah, the future. Yeah. Or, you know. When you're confident, this is something I'm good at. I know, yes, because at that point, I wasn't even sure. Because myself. Around, message me, like, did you like the candle? How was the week? Like, when I was constantly like, messaging me, and I'm like, Ewa, I haven't lit the candle. <laughs> the candle is on my table. I'm like, well, you know what? I'll write the candle to not shoot a video. I mean, kind of. But I will. I will light that candle yeah, and I write. I feel like this, uh, this, there's like a particular day that's coming. It's a very more momentous occasion. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have these candles. I feel like I might actually give them to somebody, you know? Don't. I'll make you, I'll make you some. Something nice. Yeah, yeah. Guys, please, I have to make a no stick box. You yeah. see how I said a look? <laughs> <laughs> so that's like, oh, yeah. whispered around. I'm trying to emphasize, like, I'm trying to say it loudly. But, but so, yeah, Ira would literally hit you up and ask you, like, so, I mean, that, I found, I found that fascinating because that was me a couple of years ago. Like, feedback is good. Good about feedback. Feedback period it's good. is good. It helps improve your craft. And I do that with everybody who buys candles for me. It's not because I know you. Mm. Maybe I bugged you a bit more, like a bit more frequently. But any first timer, I'll hit you back. Like, let me know. Feedback is good. Let me know. Good about feedback. Not because I want to post it, but so that I work you on can it. Improve on it. Any yeah. Issues that and. It's everything because if when it's good, it pushes you like I'm doing something right. So or finally, oh, oh I've got it. Like, I got it. Something that I yes. didn't think I've got it. So if you're looking to get into like any sort of business, just know that feedback is one of the best ways Take to it. improve your craft. Mm -hmm. Good or bad feedback. Take it. Take it. And if it's bad feedback, don't take it as criticism. Mm -hmm. Well, you can look don't look at it. It could be that, but it could also you could also look at it as an opportunity to become a better person. True. You know, so feedback is good in business, but back to True. the era, how did you start? You talked about um, um, leaving the, the government institution to the private institution that didn't necessarily work for you. And then how did the candle business come? How did the whole business come back? Okay, I was going to candles. Did you like sleep or wake up and be like, mm -hmm. okay, candles. You saw like a candle in your dream somewhere. Yeah. When I even left, my next my next plan was into start my own business. I'm like, let me apply for something. Another like no, no, no job. So that was my next move. I applied. I used links, but one it was approaching election year. Like most serious government institution don't do hiring towards that time mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So that's why government government is coming into power. That's one. So. Unfortunately, those things affect. A whole lot of things here. Yeah, no, that's no, election year is a difficult year because there's a lot of unknowns. Mm. Yeah. And then, then came the time where people had lost their jobs because of the financial crisis in Ghana, mm -hmm. the banks. And, mm -hmm. So there were lots of people at home at the same time, mm -hmm. which also meant a lot of applications going into places. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was it was just some rough timing mm -hmm. for this, like for looking for a job. So the approaching election year. People had lost jobs, so yeah, then more people you are competing yeah. with. And then, boom, COVID came. 
who's giving you a job in all these three situations? <laughs> so when I met you in March, how long have you been doing doing the candles for? I had started that year. Oh. I started that year. Hmm. Probably that beginning. But well, let's say I'd started buying, building up towards preparing yourself. Preparing to myself. Me. So to say when I actually started making them would be that year, but I'd gradually because none of the things I could get here. So that's, that's another question. Like you actually started to go into a business where like the, the raw materials are not like just not and I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know anybody to teach me. So you learning, everything you were, was you were an apprentice you were, you were like an apprentice you're learning on the job. Yeah. Which is very common in Ghana, you know, it's like most of the young people I know that actually do running their own businesses are either like students or graduates of YouTube. <laughs> or like a, or like a graduates of <laughs> Facebook. Of YouTube, or like graduates that. of Instagram. Like they are literally teaching themselves these things because now it's changing, but like the Ghanaian terrain is one that is not very conducive for. It was like a white collar job. You are like you are basically like charting your own path. Like oh, there's no, own. there's no, it's, you know, typical. It's like a footpath. Somebody that's when people have worked on that footpath. Now, so it's like a natural like um, place to like to follow. But with the, these kind of occupations, like you are the one that's actually like setting the pace for others. Because she said there are a lot of people who went to candle business, but I actually didn't even notice anybody oh, yeah. like that. But uh -huh. then also, I only got to know about them after well, after you, you decided to yeah. get into the business. Oh, these because, people actually. So you did your research. Yes. Whether these people yes. Were there. Because before I started, I you won't find me on Instagram. No, it's not before. Even now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all a business account, you know, so it's the only place that you can get to know these so, people. To be fair, this is the first time that people will actually see the face of Ara or the fake one that's raised candles. If you go to Instagram page, it's candles. It's just it's, candles, it's you, business. So this is, so I'm, like, this is a privilege to actually review the face behind the raised candles. This is Ara. This so is yeah, a I was, I was setting a business account and all that. Before I got to know, oh, okay, I followed this person, I saw something. Mm. Well, this person does this. This person is quite advanced. Like, mm, mm, mm. get some inspiration from this page, mm. you know. Mm. So I got to find out quite later. That's what it was. Mm. And from looking at when you started to now, do you, do you think that there's progress? And do you do you feel like you made the right decision? I have. You have. I have moved. If I should use that, yeah. And then if, even the smile says like okay. shows that you were happy. Yeah, um, I'm pleased with how it's gone so far. Mm. Trust me, it's not paying the bills yet. Or it's not getting me that luxury vacation yet. Buying the island. Yes, all that. It but, has to happen. Those things have to happen. Yes, yeah. but. Pardon? But it's not buying. But it's almost there. It will get there. So you, can, so you said you can see where it's going. That's what keeps driving you. Progress, growth. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a little at a time, I see it happening. But you so do like the, the fact that the fact is that you can actually see the progress. Mm -hmm. So that's what yeah. gives some sort of satisfaction that this will, this will actually get yeah. somewhere. I believe I, I believe it will because I've seen like from March to now like the effort they're putting into it. And I mean even the packaging now is different from what. And I remember that when I was leaving the day, I was leaving was when you're trying my to get the labels. Oh my gosh, it's so disappointing. Let's talk about that. We're in a business in Ghana and dealing with other Jeez. business people. How is that like? It's not easy. <laughs> what's like the most, In one sentence, it's not easy. What's the most stressful like um, situation you've ever been in? Wait, can I see one? There's a lot in. Okay, let's pick one. Hmm. Or what's it like most? If okay, so if I'm looking to start a business in, in Ghana, selling or in creating the business okay. or so in starting a business in Ghana, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think would be the most stressful? Th Thing you would encounter. I can easily say starting. Mm. Why? Starting because one, when I was starting, procuring the raw materials. Mm. Mm. Like imagine if you don't know anybody abroad, or you don't know anybody who is willing to help ship the things here. You be in a fix. And I realized that even with Ghana, right, you can find them it here. But after a point, what nobody nobody even brings it in anymore. Yes. Is, is there an consistency. Yeah. 
is that, yeah, a, is that yes. unavailable anymore? Or now they, bring, they start bringing in like inferior stuff in and you're not going to see the same outcome. Like it's stressful. It's frustrating, yeah. It's frustrating. And, and, and also, like, I, mean, I think for me, this is a time factor. Like, people mm. don't understand the agency. Mm. Like, mm. you are working with, like, because it's your business, you are, there's some sort of I agency. Like that there's some sort of agency, but because it's not theirs, they don't understand, like, like why? Like why are you so like why are you giving me I mean one time I called a guy and I was like, why are you giving me pressure? I'm like, because I'm under I am under pressure. You're paying for this. No, it, it's so real. But he's asking like why and then you tell their phone, don't pick your calls. It's, like, it's it's annoying when you're dependent on somebody to make the next move and the person's not responsive. Like it runs through from procurement to delivery riders to even your customers sometimes. Picking up your phone so you can deliver the stuff is a problem. That's true. That was last time that I did the candles. I told my clients when I'm going to deliver. So I made him know that, oh, this patch has come for your stuff. He has a few errands to do, but he will definitely get in touch with you before close of day and mm -hmm. all that. So this was him expecting the candles. And you know, people schedule their lifestyle to receive their packages. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not home, I'll tell you to bring it to the office yes. because I'm expecting it within this time. Yeah. If I'm in the office and I think there's somebody at home, I can arrange for somebody to. But this first writer says, I've come for the stuff and I have to take it. I will take it whenever or however. Like, I just know that I will take it eventually. So I told the guy that, oh, your stuff up in this patch. He's like, okay. And that guy bought quite a bunch of candles. It's and always it's always a big order. That's when the oh. talk, somebody wants to miss her. Nia, let me tell you, the heat in Accra, you can't be riding everywhere with candles in your bucket. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It will melt. It will change yeah. everything about this candle. So this guy took it and he's like, he had a couple of stops. And I let him know, these are candles. One, the jars are fragile, so careful. Like... So you don't chip, crack them. Secondly, also, it might melt, so don't be out there too long. He understood. He said, okay. The following morning, the guy hit me up. My client hit me up and said, oh, thank you. I just received the candles. The following morning? <laughs> I'm like, no, what? <laughs> ah, <laughs> I have a story. Let me tell you. Was one time, I, 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 some, some, a lady ordered cake in a jar. Cake in a jar. Mm -hmm. And two stories actually, and then this patch actually picked it. I'm like, and I gave them box. so it would usually be like in a paper box, like a box. Yeah. I don't know if you ever saw my cake in a jar. And it's like, he picked up here, I'm like, that's a cake in a jar. It's like, oh, can I open it for him to see? So I literally had to, like, I don't, do you, do you remember? Do you remember that story? I actually had to open, like, literally be a tie the rib, like, package the thing. God, I had to I open the package. Oh, so I mean, nice. So I opened the package and then he looked at everything. So, like, oh, wow, cake. Oh, wow, wow. You never got it. Yes, it's up to now, like maybe five years or maybe four years later. What's the meaning of that? I don't know. I don't know whether he had a cake or he wants to give it to his wife. Or I actually don't have a clue as to why the cake didn't near. Oh, no. There's a lot of dispatch writer who actually delivered the cake the following day. Food. And I'm like, boss, do you know this is food? Like, this is actually food someone's going to eat. Like, I was upset about the following day, but this is food being delivered the following day. I'm like, what actually, are you thinking? But to be fair, it actually got there. There was one guy that actually, the package actually never got there. I, I think for me, like, no, I think, like, I always respected this patch rider, so would always tell you, I am busy. I have a lot of deliveries. Even if I'm not picking up to go on Sunday, and I'm like, oh, boss man, some, 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 some can't wait because it's going to answer. Mm -hmm. I'll come back and be like, oh, you'll get there. I was like, oh, it's fine. I'm actually not using it. I'm just eating it. I can work with you, but those who will pick and like pick, especially when lunch, you see you, lunch time delivery, you pick up the food at 10, 5 o'clock, my food hasn't come, and I'm coming here like, oh, they will be an answer. Pick, or do you don't pick a thing? I'm right, I'm right, and text me or something. Charlie, it's stressful. Like, people, <laughs> like, I, I would always say that the young people that are actually doing business in Ghana. I applaud you because there's there isn't a system mm -hmm. to work with. You literally is like how to forge your way through to 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 get. I'm wondering like why can't we do a delivery and then track our delivery? Like that's not hard. Well, I think there's actually a delivery system actually 
how did I actually let you track your deliveries? Track your deliveries. DM me, let me know. Like, I would gladly put it out there because that's like, and that's, you know, that's it's just, everything for us. Oh. Adding exercise as like, a, like an extra service shop. So that's why I would come to you. Nee, you'll you be know? surprised. Basic Google Maps, like you're giving a delivery rider direction and it's stress. Like, use this telling, use this as your landmark. I'm like, why can't I just send you my location and use that to come? Like, I, I requested a new one. It's like, they would always call you and ask you why you I'm like, I know why I am. How do I get there? I'm like, you know, I'm I'm busy on holidays. Like I don't know where to how to get them. Can you please follow them up? Yeah. They'll be like, maybe you can tell me I'm like, I can't help you. So now comes the point I'll have to give it to my brother and fly too. Like it's but to be but aside that, Ghana is a chilling spot. <laughs> please come. Yeah, like, yeah, Ghana is home. Please Ghana come. Is everything, but Let's, let's but no, but for somebody who, the reality is on the ground as well. <laughs> the struggles are there, but but then, you know, but if you make it in Ghana, you make you've made it. Yeah. The struggles are there, but if you make it in Ghana, make it. And the thing is, if you make it here, you can make it anywhere. I believe so. Which is, which is where Rice is getting to. I mean, I think that's made it, but she told me that she's not there. She's getting there. Really? But you somebody, see me on those vacations, and you see me in those dream cars, mm -hmm. and you see me chilling. Then you know that I've made it. But even that's where, like you know, you improve on those luxuries as well. So, so how did so in terms of capital? Did you like have savings you were working with or? Oh, what I didn't add is that even before I left that last job, I told you I started seeing salaries that I did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I left the job and they owed me months of salaries. Mm -hmm. Like. Um, yes. Was, was that like one of the reasons why you actually left that place? Yeah, well? because I mean, who would go to work for months, fooling their own kind of feeding themselves? How, how, am I pay, how am I paying my bills? Mm. Do you understand? So, like, even though we were eager to make it work, as a point, it didn't make sense. Because, mm. like, as a leader, I would expect you to tell me that, look, this is what it looks like. Yeah. So, I stopped. And if it's today that they will pay me that money. Oh, I was going to ask you, oh. did they ever pay you your money? They haven't. So it was literally starting business book. How's the, how, how it's does, not like there was some money how, lying somewhere. How, how does that look like? Like starting with no. Is it like buy one thing at a time or? I think generally people people would or people may look at me and think that oh, oh what all like that's you're that's, fine. That's you don't have any problem. You don't have any stress. In life. it's because I won't come and cry to you. Or I won't because like I think I mean for those who have been spoken to they are, they are thinking oh she had a good job she just quit because she wants to do like it's other than half of yeah one other one percent one other one percent no I'm not I'm not at about please sir yeah do you know I, I've always told please that. I may look it we yes. can give credit to the looks but uh, <laughs> one other one percent it's not what it is oh so we're just like starting one at a time like buy one thing at a time okay? I I had. I had supportive people around me. That's good. Yeah. Support is so for that young person who wants to have business yeah. and or someone looking to come to them and start business, they don't have a support. What would you tell them? Must have, like do you know something? Just just stuck that's where you are they stay there. Is that what is that what you told them? Or? No. You need money to start by all means. So right. save up. Yes. Like if if you're not in a situation like mine, you already have some source of income. Gradually save for what you want to do for that big step. Yes, of like quitting and I'm if done. Take your <laughs> yeah. If it's drastic, however, there's always a way. There's always, always a way. It might not necessarily have to be family mm. or somebody right next to you. Mm. Like, guys, even me, I met just a year ago. Like, let's talk about how he supported this business in his own way. I was praying for so, him. I was fasting. Oh, oh God. I will tell them. That a business. I will tell them what did. Oh my God! So all your friends will come and collect. Everyone will come and collect your share over oh, here. Yeah. Like yeah, cheers to supportive friends, supportive mm. family, supportive people that believe in the dream. Yeah, because I think I'm quite private. No, she's not quiet. She's very private. And even this this week, I'm sure quite a number of people. We'll find out later and go like so why didn't you tell me you do candles but i think maybe from now they'll probably freak, like know this yeah like, no but yeah. even family or even people that i know but i'm like one i i, I agree to that people post this on your whatsapp status uh, you really market your stuff i don't even have a profile picture like, why <laughs> no okay so 
I understand that marketing style of like constantly in your face marketing, but yours is not like that. Why? Okay, so what would you define your marketing style as? Whatever it is. <laughs> Whatever my marketing style is. I like that. It's like she's still learning. Like, okay. I need to do a lot. Is it, is, is, it, is it because you think that there's still a lot for you to learn? So you're not That's really one. putting yourself out there? No, I'm trying to. I am, I am trying to put myself out there. But. It's it's been a lot. Because, no, it's been happening. Yeah, and even with the business, it's been a lot. I'm doing everything. Though. By yourself. I'm buying. I'm by yourself. Producing. But you, know, but you know that's a good thing. Um, trying social media, which I was entirely new to. It's actually um, a saying that if you want to be the billionaire, you should own the entire chain. You should know, like literally, every step is should be yours. So this is it's interesting that you are saying that. We're back again. Yeah, the watch the watch delivery came in, so yeah. yeah, we had to, you know, that was also like that's like also like a very important aspect of the show. So I had to ensure that. But uh, let me just say the watch people is like a very bougie watch, you know. The way so the, we have to be fast in The way the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one, yeah. the way the guy came in, the is, hey, people bagging things. Wow, come on, the Ghanaians are doing, they are doing. Anyways, so around like final remarks, like so if, if there's any other person that wants to. Like, going to like start business in Ghana what, what advice would you give them? Um, once you've thought it, give it a shot it might it might not work but you know you tried and also somebody asked me a friend of mine a church asked me that you know but why candles? Mm, yeah, when, when, when you sure I was going to sell? I said I wasn't sure I didn't even know it would sell I just tried. So it's whatever you think I want, just give it a shot. If it doesn't work. Pardon? If it doesn't work, try, try something, something else. else. Yeah. But keep trying. Keep trying. Mm. Try something else. And it might not just work immediately. But I think we require a bit more patience as young people too because mm. we expect things to Happen already. We're a great generation. Yes. Mm. I am like that too. Sometimes I'm impatient. I like I'm impatient with stuff, but I've learned. It doesn't mean yeah. you learned, but I've learned. Patience is a mm. virtue. It is. How long can you be patient for though? Like when 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 when, when do you get to the point that you realize that this thing is not working? Is there ever a point like that? Yeah, I mean if you're constantly feeding resources, time money anything else into something and it's not yielding anything sometimes it's yielding something but not as much as you're putting in you know that it's a step mm. sometimes it will yield a little bit more than it yielded some time back so then it's progressive Progress. yeah. yeah so then you know that okay i should just continue mm -hmm. maybe it's not giving me as much as i'm putting in but it's getting there but if if it's not coming, if it's not doing, because it's not doing, please. Do you do you believe in luck? Do you think that you think that people get lucky? I'm saying this because there are some people that feel like think that is their big break is coming. Do you think that is? Do you believe in luck? Because I know Oprah said she doesn't believe in luck. She she thinks when opportunity meets preparation, then there's an explosion. She doesn't think that it's like. But then do you think that there, do you think that there's anything I, like yeah, that? I think I've been. I've been lucky to meet some people, so mm. I could agree to that. The luck I plays mean, a part. The spiritual part of me will call it grace. Grace. Yes. Grace. But I, I equally get what you're saying and I believe in that because I've met such amazing people along this path. That have been instrumental and sincere. So the people you surround yourself with is also important because it can either make or break. It's very important. And please, like sometimes we expect from the people that we surround ourselves in with sorry mm. that your family should push it for you your immediate friends my immediate friends don't use candles but should is, isn't that See, how, isn't my that immediate how... friends will think that i'm the one who is extra with some things like i'm the one who likes certain things yes yeah, so within my immediate friends i'm the one who will like this they won't like it so i don't expect them to buy something that they won't use but okay isn't that how we should be though like shouldn't your friends like, guys i'm just I'm trying to hide my stomach. It's not <laughs> but isn't that how it should be? Though, shouldn't like your friends and family be the ones that are actually pushing your stuff? Like even if I don't use our like yes, it people. should be. 
should versus what is on the ground as well. Yeah, yes. they so may help, and that's fine. You may, but don't expect. If they don't, mm -hmm. it's not their work. It's your baby. It's your child. You need to feed it. You need to nurture it. It's like having children in Ghana. Like we all think that so once we have children, the grandparents are there, the the uncles are there. This will babysit. So this will do this. Yeah, it's nice to have that support. It's nice to have those people that would encourage mm -hmm. you. That would put in certain resources. Those all that is nice. But it's your child. It's yeah. up to you. Yeah. Everything else, whatever decision you make, whatever inputs you make, is solely up to you. The other things are just additions. Additions that will push it. Additions that would probably be that breakthrough. But you should look for it, making it what it is. Is happiness a factor? Like, should you be happy with what you're doing? You should be, but you see, Sometimes the frustrations will make you all excited. Mm -hmm. Like you're doing something, like I can do something. Passion drove me to do it, if I say, if I, yeah. Passion drove me, but sometimes you're not sure. Sometimes there's certain frustration. Sometimes it doesn't go a certain way. And you can beat yourself up for it. And in those moments, what do you do? Do you quit or you keep going? I take a break. Yeah. Take so, a step back. Yeah, it's not quitting and it's not just firing up either. It's taking like it's, it's okay to pause. It's okay. It's your business. It's okay or... to pause and rethink things and come back better. I, I, I always tell people that like, that's one of the, the good things about coming to Ghana is that um it's like you can remove yourself from the situation you are in. Mm. And it's like because I always say this when we come home it's like we come home to fill ourselves up with, with like family and um you know and a chance of the fact that like you're loved, people are concerned for you. Yeah. And then you go there and it's like you're all constantly emptying yourself. So you guys learn I guess London is like sometimes like I love it. I'm business. back to business, back to back to back. And you know how my life is like I'm always yeah. constantly on the road. If I'm if I'm home, I'm working, I'm constantly up to something. So like you give, 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 and it's like you're emptying, empty, empty, and it gets a point where it's like you are empty, like you are empty. And you are no longer, you are just going through the emotion of things, you are not feeling anything. That's when for me I realized that that's, that's when I need to stop. So then I would come home and I usually, you know, I come, like, since I've been home, everyone has been asking me, when are you cooking or when are you, I don't do any of those things because cooking is work for me. So I just, I don't want to, I just okay. want to also relax, relax and uh. enjoy myself. I just want to go to the hotel and I'm watching, I'm okay. Like go back cooking for it and I'm okay, like planting and beans. Like last time I bought um with some planting and ground out. I think I bought like 20 and the girls look at me like, are you okay? I'm like <laughs> it's just you know, just because like you get it, like just to come and just refill my like yeah. So it's okay to pause, take a step away from everything and recoup. And mm. and I and I think just take as long as you need to like just get to that place where you yeah. be you be useful. Because sometimes we give ourselves this the pressure. Like we've set certain timelines, we have certain why expectations. Though? Like why? It's, it's, like one thing, it's one thing if you, you feel stagnant. It's just, If it depends on the person that you are, like it can be depressive. You just want more. Yeah. When there's uncertainty, there's no clarity, like you soak in all these things and go like, what am I even doing? Why am I here? Yeah. But it's either two things that that should kick you into the next move or get you to start something or do something to improve on that situation or you continually just feed those feelings and become sad mm. and i think it's okay to be sad but it just doesn't make sense to, dwell in, to dwell in that sadness it's how long you stay I, I, I have i i saw something somewhere i can't remember exactly what it says but it says like it's all like you need it's okay to go through all the emotions mm. like happy like you're happy you're sad you're crying like it's okay to go through all the emotions like it's necessary for you can always be happy what's that mm, that's true yeah i mean that's what everybody would like that's what everybody would naturally want but that's not how life is should we expect more from from you like should we expect like yes. other ventures yes. eventually maybe well even with the candles i i think that this year i should do something more something more yeah so why, why should we buy why should we buy that why should we buy those three candles one Look at it. I think it's pretty. I know it is 
pretty. Okay, so it smells you, great. Wait. Okay, I know, I know it smells great because I've yeah, so I put in my luggage and my entire suitcase was smelling smell like strawberries. I think. Um, but smell this and tell me what you smell. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to. I was, I was going to cheat and read it. And it's not on it. <laughs> Give me one element. Vanilla. Vanilla. There's a prominent one. There is vanilla, but there's something more prominent. Don't smell lavender. You don't smell lavender. Me, like my sense. <laughs> <laughs> My sister smell. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's okay. Left. Okay, that's come fail. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's try this one. Okay. God help me. Oh my god. I just feel it smells really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fruit or something. Yeah. Apple. Yeah, black currant. Hey my bro, it's black mm. Okay, let's be nice apple, but it smells okay, he it smells is dead. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not that apple. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try this one. Oh god, they're, they're really small and nice, like... Okay, let me have... No, you... I think you'll smell it. Tell me if you can smell it. Has a, oh, she has a cold. Oh my god, this one's really nice. And so that's the thing, like, you know some of them, eh? You, you don't even have to... The shelf. To, no, it's like, it says what it is. But yeah. like, this one's like, the moment this you... This is milder. This is much milder. But it's like, very... It's very it's deadly. Yeah. Mm. So smell. So yeah, look if you're looking to like for a gift that is not regular. Yeah. Buy those real candles. candles. And also you asked why my candles. Why should we buy those real candles? The wax I use. That's 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 that is it. That's please talk about that one. Let's tell them. Yes. It's they make that one. <laughs> okay, again. I use soy wax. Which is like a more like a healthier. You it's know. it's organic. Hey, it's always more organic on the label. It's like four times the price. It's, so it's yeah. Yeah, it's organic, it's organic but affordable. But <laughs> yes, let me just put that in before they think that organic you really but affordable. It. So it's it's it from um soybeans that mm. we know. Yes, so it's a side product. From so if you smell it's like after you inhale it, will you become like fat? Like will it make you help? You're not eating it, come on. <laughs> You're not eating it. <laughs> You're eating it. Like, like, you know, like, you like, couldn't handle all your fat solids. It's, it's, it's healthier when you burn. It's a cleaner burn. That's like, what yeah, we like, say. Yeah. As, it's green, as compared it's to our burn wax. Yeah. yeah, it's greener than the regular yeah, so Okay, guys. So, on, would you like to mention like your socials so like people can follow you? And um, so far it's just on IG. Desiree. Desiree underscore candles. D e s i r e e. D e z. D e z i r e e underscore candles. Yes. At Desiree candles. Thank you so much. Thank you. So just so you know, I messaged around this morning. Yeah. It was. Ira. Man, I messaged Ira this morning. And I says, can you please come over and we shoot this? And she's like, sure. Like, yeah. Thank you so much for being my first guest on season two of our Um Well, we'll talk to you guys later. Like, I, I have another guest coming in. This is this this season is one that you would not want to like miss out to anything. So see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Oh my god, this is fun. Nice one. Oh. I want you to smell it.